Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at two things. One, how you can embed project files into a master file, and two, how you can use Paste Special to link project data into a master file. So first of all, in this file, I want to type master at the top, leave myself a line space, go to the projects tab, click on sub project, and then that gives you access to your computer. So the first one I want is move house, double click on that, leave a line space, and then do the same thing again, sub project, flood defense, like so. Now if I indent these two, the duration will be picked up at the top, 28 days total duration on these two projects, and you get the timeline on the right there on your Gantt chart for these two projects. Now, if I click on these little arrows, that will expand each of these projects and you can see the detail on each of these projects. What you're doing here is you've created a master file, but you can actually work on these projects through this master file. But you can also work on these projects in isolation by just opening the source file and working away on it. Because this is a live link, any change made at either end will be reflected at the other end. Now, if you want to link files like this in a master file, you can do between projects this is so if I click on that and then hold my control key down and click on allocate funds and then click the chain link you can see there's a link there now with the file path that one there's a file path it's telling me where that is and it's linked it and the whole project has moved to the end of the first project I'll just delete that off so it all comes back over I'm not saying that's the way I would personally work, but that's the way you could work. So you're just saying that that project is following this one. This one's got to be completed first. If I close these down, you've just got the timelines at the top there of these two projects. And that's the quickest way of doing it. And if you're a project manager, you could have multiple sub projects in one file. Uh, avoid the hassle of having to run around to individual files and folders to find details of projects you can just do it from one place now quite often in project management you don't want the whole project file to be available you may only want a a line it may be a a key piece of equipment or key process that needs to be uh, reported up the chain uh, but not all of this detail i'm sure the the boss doesn't want to know when you emptied the bins but this sort of thing there, allocate funds maybe, when was that done? That particular line of information you might want. So the second way of doing this is not to have all these. So I'm just going to close this down, not save it, not at all. Get myself a blank file. What I'm going to do is create two projects, project A with two tasks in each, task A and task B. And then I'm going to indent those two tasks and give myself a duration like so just link them on number two so that's a 50 day project and I'll save this as project A so I know what it is project A where's that going documents that'll do I'll get myself a new one so this is going to be project B project B task A and task B Indent those two, give them some durations, 45 and 33 days, link them together, two. So now we've got two projects, both with a, a timeline at the top there. This one's 78 days, I can't remember what the other one was, but it doesn't matter. What you then do is you create a third file, this is your master file, you, you save it as master, but I'm not going to bother saving this, I'm just going to type it in like that. And you do exactly the same. Um, you bring the files in, but this time we only want one line of the file. So if I highlight project A, that line, copy, control C, come back into uh, the master file. I should have named that project B. That's the master file. And highlight the line and you use paste special, paste link. And that comes in. And then you do the same for project B, which I didn't name, which is that one. Highlight the title, 
copy come back over into the master file highlight the row use paste special paste link okay and then you indent those two and it gives you a, a timeline at the top 78 days and if i go back into any of these projects so i'll go into project b and change that to 66 days so that's gone to 111 come back to my master project and let's pick that up and again you can just you can just follow these on as well so that's um a slightly easier way i think to bring specific roles of information in from a large project you might just want a few roles key reporting lines and you can also do this if i double click on project a it actually goes into project a anyhow so you get the benefit of going into the the, the source file by just double clicking um you haven't got all the information sitting in the master file so it doesn't clutter you up and i think it's a, a good tool to use to do reports on so you can then go into reports and create reports based on this information and uh, send that up the chain to whatever management level you need to send it to so there's two different ways of doing it inserting the sub project or using pay special and bringing individual lines in but both ways it's a great way to manage multiple projects so that's all I want to talk about in this session. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you for your time.